Hi, welcome to Learning Monkey. I am Raghuveer. Please watch this video till the end and share it with all your friends. In our last videos, we clearly discussed that the first subject a computer science student is going to start his career is C programming. After completion of the C programming, he moves on to study data structures. In order to improve his coding knowledge, we move on to data structures to improve the coding knowledge. After completion of data structures, you can move to algorithms and competitive coding according to your requirements. So all these things towards to improve your coding skills. But in our last video, we already discussed that uh, the importance of hardware to understand today's technologies. Yes, simply having the knowledge of coding is not enough for today's technologies. Uh, you should have some basic hardware understanding also. So after completion of C programming, this is the second subject you have to start. Along with that, at the same time, you can start studying digital logic design also. Digital logic design is the first subject for the students to have better understanding on hardware side. So after completion of C programming, you can start both the subjects at a time. It is not uh, mandatory to after completion of data structures, uh, you have to start digital logic design. No, no need of uh, completion of data structures. Parallelly, you can start data structures and digital logic design at a time after completion of C programming. Uh, so this part deals with the hardware side. This part deals with the coding side. Uh, now in this video, we are going to understand uh, what's the what's the level of understanding you are going to get uh, in after completion of the digital logic design. In our last video, when we discussed about the, uh, at the, the need of hardware understanding for students, uh, for computer science students, uh, so what's the level of understanding you needed for a computer science student? He has to understand uh, about a simple processor design, how the memory is organized, how I.O. devices are going to interact with this memory and processors. This is the level of understanding needed for a CSE student. Yes, this level of understanding is needed. How these hardware devices are designed, how these hardware devices, what these hardware devices consist of, whether you take processor, you take memory, or you take I.O. devices, all these are combination of digital electronic circuits. So these are designed, these are made using digital electronic circuits. Up to now, as a computer science student, we don't have any idea about what digital electronic circuits means. So from the basic, we have to learn step by step. By the end of two subjects, what's those two subjects? Digital logic design and computer organization and architecture. You have to achieve the knowledge of how the simple design of the processor will be, how the memory organization will be, how I.O. interactions with these devices will be. This is the level of understanding you have to come, you have to get after completion of these two subjects. Now coming to our uh, today's topic, uh, what's the level of understanding you are going to get uh, using digital log after completion of a uh, digital logic design. Uh. So up to now we don't have any knowledge about digital, digital, uh, digital means uh, binary number system. Uh. We had a knowledge about decimal number system. We don't have any knowledge about binary number system. So that's why this subject digital logic design starts with uh, digital or binary number system. Uh. Keep these points in mind. Your target is to achieve this understanding. Based on that, start studying this subject. That will be very helpful for you to think in that direction. That's why we are explaining all these things. So digital or binary number system. The first concept you have to start deal with. The first session is going to deal with digital or binary number system. Once you got an understanding about what's binary number system, then the second section is going to deal with the digital logic or digital algebra. If you want to design a large circuits, first you should have some logic. What's that logic? What's the digital logic? What's that binary logic? That the basic logics that required to understand in order to design the large circuits. That basic logics will be, will be discussed in the second session. Once you have that basic logics about digital, 
then using this basic logics you are going to design a small circuits that circuits we call them as a combinational circuits or sequential circuits yes after completion of these subjects you are going to get this all these three concepts means at the end of the subject you are able to design small combinational and sequential electronic circuits that is the level of understanding you are going to get after completion of digital logic designer once you have this understanding about us uh, designing small circuits uh, using the small circuits whatever the circuits you learned here in digital logic design we use the small circuits we will combine all these small circuits to design a simple processor this concept will be deal uh, will be discussed in our next subject which is we call it as computer organization and architecture how memory is organized how processors are designed how ios are interacted all these are depend on this whatever the circuits you learn here these circuits will help you in understanding the next subject so this is what you have to you have to keep it in your mind then start studying digital logic design hope you understand the importance of uh, what's uh, your importance of digital logic design please do subscribe to our channel and share it with all your friends and hit bell icon for the latest updates thank you